Rebo. Hey, here you're having a birthday, a big one. It's not as painful as you think. Been there, done that. Nancy told me, if you want to know who the dearest lifelong friends are, you look first to your heart and then to your walls. Steve is 75 and he's been living on our walls and in our hearts for nearly half our lives. Literally, these are hanging all around us. We see you every day. We think of you every day. Who can forget? Rome, one of our first trips together, hanging out at the Sidewalk Cafe, or visiting with Doris and Doug at their villa, or climbing the rigors of Cinque Terre and paying tolls to the kids while you're hiking in a knee brace, or climbing to the armament top of the hill in Barcelona with the posse drinking Brunello in Montalcino with Pamela and Michael, or hanging out in Positano, holy cow, many, what a great place, or hiking in Keystone, fabulous luncheon in Montalcino with the posse again, or a trip with Nance to Burano to look at glass, or rendering an opinion on Brit, decide whether Molly can hook up with this guy or not in Santa Fe, or going to their wedding in Iowa, eating in Bologna, or watching me on my motorcycle in Bologna with all my matching gear. And my favorite, watching you with your skinny legs on your motorcycle and I'm hoping to get you on a motorcycle again. Happy birthday, Stefano. We love you. And we can't, can't. Can't wait to plan our next adventure together. All of our love. Love you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Steve. Will you accept, accept this, this rose? rose? Hey, Papa. It's me, um, Jace. Uh, how's your day going? Because mine's going good. Um, there's something I need to talk to you about, but first I want to tell you how much I love you and how much you mean to me, and happy 75th birthday, that's a big one. Uh, just thank you for taking me to trips or supporting me in basketball or soccer or whatever I do. Cello, piano, I could go on and on and on. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, um, you mean so much to me and this family, and there's something I gotta show you. Hope that you will always respect us as much as we respect you. But there's no competing with this. Will you accept my tetanus, Rose? Hey, Papa, um, I was just calling you to wish you a happy birthday and um like thank you for respecting me being so kind and nice and like making smoothies oh those were very good very good smoothies they're very good smoothies reading stories to me doing all the things you do so thank you for basically i'm basically saying thank you for being alive <laughs> um but i do have a question for you I have two questions. First question is will you wait, I don't I only have one question. Okay. Well, first question is will you take this napkin? No, I'm just kidding. I don't really want you to have a napkin. Well, you should have napkins always. Always remember to have towels. No, but seriously, will you accept this cacti's rose? Um, but one more thing that is just like thing, something that I thought of that would kind of be cool. Okay, anyways. Thank you for accepting the rose. Bye.
to my Uncle Yesi. Happy, happy, happy birthday. There's so many things I love about you, um, from just hanging out with you, drinking really good wine, to the introduction to the one and only cup of fun, which is very special. So I hope you have a beautiful day and a great year coming and that you're able to do everything that you love because we love you. Will you accept this rose, my Uncle Gisi? Happy birthday, birthdays to you, you old man. Timer. Yeah, really. But hey, you made it to 75. We're happy to be here with you celebrating. We are, and because we are, we're going and to you're say, our friend. And we love you. Friend. We he's yeah, our he, family. He's um, our fr he's, family he's, friend. He's our okay. patriarch. And hey, there's a See rose these? for you. Will you accept our bloody, I mean, our beautiful roses? Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday. Steve, we think that there should be a program for TV called The Bachelor for 75-Year-Olds. You would be the perfect candidate. However, you would have to adjust your previous list of 10 requirements, which included appearance, physical fitness, independence, intelligence, only to name a few. And there may be, there may be many others, by the way. And now that you are 75, you need to discard that old list. The important thing now is that the woman is breathing. Would you please accept this withered rose in honor of your birthday? And from La Jolla, California, Cookie and I wish you all the best. Bye. Good morning, Steve. In honor of your 75th birthday, we wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the things that we admire the most about you, the most, not the most, the most about you, and especially post-COVID. And with 40 years of a lot of knowledge and experience with you, we feel very qualified for the following comments. We want to congratulate you on your expertise in becoming a consummate master Bridge player. A concert pianist. We have heard evidence of that. A soon-to-be worldwide traveler and yachter. And just an all-around enthusiastic, not very sane supporter of the Timberwolves for what now is close to a century, but still avid and still a wild, rabid supporter of the Timberwolves. And so, in honor of your birthday, we want to ask you a very special question. Steve, would you please accept a rose from us? California rose. <laughs> very no. appropriate, by the way. You, you don't need to answer right now. Just think about it. We love you. Happy, happy birthday. Wish we were there celebrating in person, Stevie. Love you very much. Bye, honey. Hey, Steve. It's Chris Harrison from The Bachelor. I am reaching out to wish you a happy birthday. First and foremost, happy 75th birthday. What an amazing time. You are an incredible man. Uh, Drew and Jenna reached out and they let me know that you are truly the patriarch of the family, the leader, the spiritual guide of this family, the glue that holds it together. They love you and they appreciate you so very much. So I also wanna wish you a very happy birthday because I know that you have been a huge part of Bachelor Nation for quite some time. And that brings me to my second and maybe most important point. Steve, I think it's time for you to be the bachelor. I just want to cut to the chase. You're good looking, great head of hair, work out. You are single, that always helps. You're here for the right reasons. I think we can all agree you would be the ultimate bachelor. Are you ready for those two-on-one dates? Are you ready for those hot tub scenes? Are you ready for the exotic overnights? We'll find out. Look, I know you want to celebrate your birthday. Let's let's do that first and foremost, but let's think about this bachelor idea. Maybe not such a bad idea. Steve, your family loves you very much, and I wanted to send my love and appreciation as well. This, look, I'm not above giving a man a rose on his birthday. This is for you. Here's to a healthy, happy, beautiful year ahead.